What's up, everybody? Peace by Peter Garcia, aka Cool Bob Love, DJ, author, now filmmaker, uh, ball player, TV personality, sneaker designer, um, and a couple other things. Ow! Uh, when Stretch and I started this, uh, the show on 89.9 FM WKCR back in uh, 1990, I mean, really, our goal was just to have fun, you know, and it just so happened that we were <laughs> in an era that wound up. Uh, you know, creating all these like legendary names, and we were fortunate enough to have an open ear to a lot of the unsigned acts of the, uh, of the city at that time, including Nas, Wu Tang, Biggie, Jay Z when he had a 12 inch deal, uh, Mob Deep. Um, I mean, you know, 30 artists I could name Big L, Company Flow, you know, all these cats were coming through our show, you know, unknown, and they wound up blowing up after that. So we just happened to be in the right place at the right time, and we had a lot of fun doing the show. That's, that's what we always tell people, we had a lot of fun. Um, my earliest memory, memory of hip hop that's fond to me is, the first one that comes to mind is uh, being in the, in the bathroom at Holy Name on 96th Street in uh, Amsterdam. And my man Craig Raddix, he was in the Zulu Nation in 1977. He was like, yo, Bob, I wanna show you this dance move. And he went down on the floor and, <laughs> and did some footwork. And I was like 11 years old at the time. I didn't know what he was doing. And, uh, you know, and at that point, didn't even know it was hip hop, you know? And then come to find out years later that, you know, it's this global movement. And uh, I was able to get an early, early glimpse at it. So. I mean, people ask me what's, what's my favorite memory of me and Stretch. Uh, props to Lord Sear, who's now on Sirius Radio. He was, he was part of the team as well. Um, I would have to say uh, Nas's freestyle in 93 was, was standout. Um, I would say probably my favorite moment on the, on the show is as difficult as that is, would be uh, Lars Professor bringing up his SP um, 1200 and uh, playing beats that hadn't weren't, weren't released yet, and then OC, Farrell Monch, Cool Keith, uh, Large, all rhymed together, and it was like it was OD. I mean, those are like right there some of my favorite MCs of all time, and they were passing the mic to each other, so that was crazy. We, me and Stretch and I never had any you know qualification other than you know. The person is nice. It didn't matter if it was male, female, signed, unsigned, big budget, you know, million records or no records sold. You know, we we didn't we resurrected a lot of careers like Craig G, Cool Keith. Um, you know, we created careers for people that that you know still to this day. Cage, um, MF Doom. I mean, all those cats started on a radio show and they're still thriving today on an independent level, whether or not they got you know the big uh, magazine covers and stuff. So, you know. We just cared about cats was dope, that's all. I mean, at this point in 2012, I, I've definitely created some new opportunities for myself. Uh, I co-directed a film called Doing It in the Park, Pick Up Basketball NYC. You know, I authored a book in 2003 uh, titled uh, Where'd You Get Those? New York City Sneaker Culture, 1960 1987. Um, you know, I didn't, I didn't rest on my laurels as far as like, in 98, the Source Magazine awarded us the best hip hop radio show of all time. You know, I keep on pushing myself to new challenges and. You know, I think five years from now, I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I'm going to be having fun. I'm going to be, you know, trying to uh, impress people around the world with something positive and just giving back to the community. That's all I can say. Just uh, check out Facebook.com, Bobito Garcia, aka Cool Bob Love. That's spelled with a K for all information about what I'm up to. Also, check out Facebook.com slash Doing It In The Park. That's spelled without a G. And that's all information about the documentary. Peace.